you know, the market was showing some weakness at the open, and I, you know, most of the time that means I'd be coming into the day looking for a uh, short. However, I, I was really expecting the market to rebound today, just because the way it's been trading lately, that's just kind of what's happened to me, and it's taken me a while to get used to that and to trade the way, to change the way I trade. So I came in looking at a couple of stocks today. I was looking at Apple and I was looking at Microsoft primarily, looking for trades. Uh, the Apple trade you know, looked a little better to me, so I went ahead and went with it. Uh, I had had a position in Microsoft, which I ended up closing for just a very small gain. But I did a little better in Apple because that was the one I stayed in. And a couple of things were going on here. You know, I had this opening candle, and I typically don't trade it. But uh, after it closed right here, I really did consider taking a long ride in this area, which I would have probably, I would have made money on it. I would have gotten stopped out around break even on the second half of the trade, but I would have made money here. However, I, what I really considered was, well, there's still a lot going on. The market's still moving. I'd rather wait for a, a move up, a pullback, and then take the second trade of that wave. And when I saw this candle, you know, in my mind, I was thinking, well, maybe the market's going to fall. Maybe I should go short. I held off on that. I decided to wait and see what the candles look like, wait for this up move. I was seeing some strength and some other things. So when I got this candle here, I placed a buy stop right here. And I was able to go along uh, 200 shares at 295.43, and that's where my buy stop was. My initial target was right in this, right in this area right here. I bumped it up above here, and then as the candle was forming, I was bumping it back down. And after this candle, I had to move down, so I ended up uh, bumping it back down into here. And I hit the target at 295.97 for a $54 gain. And it was still riding this uh, 2 ATR band, so I was watching it. And when I got out here, I moved my stop to break even. Uh, I didn't move my stop here, which typically I would have uh, on this candle. Uh, you know, I decided to wait today because, again, the, the market was looking pretty strong, uh, and I really did think we were going to get an even better move up than this. So I went ahead and stayed in it and kept my stop at break even. I got this candle. You know, I thought about, again, right here on this candle, I consider moving the stop to here. Uh, probably should have. You know, moving my stop to right here was probably the better trade, but I didn't. You know, I waited for this candle. You know, this was a, a, a candle here, which I really felt had a lot of strength. So I moved my stop right on this candle. When it closed, I moved my stop up to right here. Uh, I did get stopped out at 296.48. You know, I got $54 on this 100 shares, 105 on, on this uh, 100 shares here. You know, I could have done a little better. I should have moved the stop to here, which would have been a little bit better, but I didn't. Uh, you know, again, I was still thinking we might just get a rip straight up, and I wanted to be in that because I missed some of these on my previous day trade. So I was really hoping to see that rip. Got stopped out here. Uh, really, there wasn't another entry uh, and, unless you wanted to try to play a pullback, which I did consider, but I didn't take it. You, you did have a potential entry here as it moved back into the wave with a stop here and a long here. I didn't take it. You know, I, I was pretty happy. I made $159 today on this trade, you know, I had a little bit better in break even on a Microsoft trade, which primarily I closed because I was in this one. Uh, so overall, it was a good day. You know, I traded the Bollinger Band, you know, uh, day trading strategy. Uh, it went pretty well. Yeah, there was another move here I could have got. You know, if I'd let my stop at break even, I would still be in this trade. Uh, so there are certain some ways that you could adjust it. I've just found that, you know, the way that I, I trade it works best for me. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks.